This is one way for Qatar to break the economic embargo imposed by its neighbors. These cargo planes are landing at Hamad International Airport in Doha with food shipments from Turkey and Iran. But nearly two weeks since the crisis began, Qatar says Saudi Arabia and its allies have failed to present any demands. So far, Kuwait hasn't received any demands from other GCC nations or even a list of their so-called accusations. We're just confused about what these demands could be. One day, they come out saying it's a GCC issue and must be resolved within the GCC. Then later, they say they will submit the demands to the US. Then they come out with a different statement, saying Qatar needs to comply with the demands, and we still don't know any of the specifics. The fact that they don't even have clear demands ready shows that all of their accusations are baseless. Efforts to find a negotiated solution began with Kuwaiti mediation, and then several other nations, including Morocco and Turkey, also tried to help. President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, whose foreign minister toured the region earlier this week, reiterated his hope that Saudi Arabia will use its regional weight to resolve the crisis. We hope this matter is set to be resolved before Eid. Of course, our relationship with our other friends in the region is a separate matter to us standing up for our Qatari friends who have been wronged. These are not conflicting or alternating matters. Meanwhile, the political crisis is continuing with more accusations against Qatar, this time from Bahrain. This video, aired by Bahrain state media, appears to feature a phone call between a personal advisor to the former Emir of Qatar and members of the banned Al Wifaq party in Bahrain, evidence, they say, of a collusion by Doha to topple Bahrain's government. But Qatar's foreign ministry issued a statement denying the accusations. It says the date of the phone call goes back to 2011, when Qatar was officially asked by the government in Bahrain to mediate between it and the Shia opposition. Qatar's denial is corroborated in this video by Bahrain's own foreign minister in a previous statement, where he responded to a local commission report that accused Qatar of meddling in Bahrain's affairs. Qatar, لم تقم. Qatar has only played a positive role in this matter. And let me clarify. My brother, His Highness Prime Minister Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim, has from the start played a role alongside his brothers, the GCC foreign ministers, in supporting the Kingdom of Bahrain. Kingdom of Bahrain. We will never forget that. Qatar also recently played a clear role when it discovered a cell on its territory trying to conspire with Iran in order to stage terrorist attacks in Bahrain. Qatar's role was constructive, and any pointing to it that this report may include is probably something the committee has heard of from other parties in Bahrain. We haven't heard of it, and Qatar has never done it. The continuous exchange of accusations shows the crisis is not about to go away and that more time and effort will likely be needed to bring about its resolution. Hamad Val, Al Jazeera.